Lab TV travels to the Plains, Virginia for the Team America Rocketry Challenge. It's the world's largest rocket contest. Teams from all across the United States have been designing, building, and testing rockets. And the top 100 are here to see who will take home the gold. It is rocket science, and the scientists are teenagers. This is our altimeter, and basically it just records the altitude that our rocket makes when we launch it. It tells us the altitude and beeps. Well, for this we need to gain 750 feet and have it go up and come down in 45 seconds. And the two eggs, which we have in here right now, um, they need to not break during the flight. Our astronauts need to survive. Each team prepares their rocket and then takes it to the pre-flight check-in. The rockets are weighed, measured, and inspected before final assembly. Contestants set up their rockets on a launch pad. After a final pre-launch check, they give the thumbs up. Seven. The range safety officer calls the Five, final countdown four, and the control station three, fires the electric igniter. One, mark. We had to take into account the mass of the rocket, uh, things like drag and thrust and impulse and all those kinds of things were, were all taken into account. A rocket flight is divided into three phases. Thrust, where the engine produces thrust and the rocket is accelerating upward. Coasting, after the engine burns out and the rocket is still rising but decelerating or slowing down. And recovery, after the recovery system, in this case a parachute, deploys and the rocket returns to the ground. I used a computer program to run simulations of it and basically it was trying to analyze the trade-offs between like the aerodynamics of it versus the weight and making sure there was enough space in the body for the eggs to be safe and then determining what rocket motor we should use. Each team comes up with their own design, but the components are basically the same. A motor, a compartment for the eggs, and a parachute recovery system. The rocket motor we're using is an F50, and that means that the average thrust it's providing while it's burning is 50 newtons. And that's, that's a lot of force for these rockets. And the objective there was to get it going, accelerating really fast so that it wouldn't like waver in the wind. And that's how we got really straight flight here today. And other than that, we have a pretty simple rocket design. It's basically just, you know, straight down, triangular fins, nothing crazy. It's really taking math and science principles that people think are not interesting, and it makes them fun. If you see a rocket fly up in the air, it's not just math and science, it's not just physics, it's, it's fun, and it's, it's, it's cool. Three, two, one, mark. Well, it looks like all the hard work has paid off. Houston, we have a winner. To find out more about rockets or Team America Rocketry Challenge, check out labtvonline.org.